Oh, oh, oh my goodness. It's that time again. GP, where are you? He's up here, Happy. Oh, oh my, oh, I'm under control. I'm under control. You caught me napping. Well, you know what happens when you lean back? You look up at the trees, you listen to the birds, and you, you breathe real deep some of that great fresh air, and you close your eyes just for a minute. Well, I know what happens to me. I fall asleep, doze right off. Well, the birds don't seem to mind. They think it's kind of funny, and you know, there's something else I bet they laughed at. One time, I came out here, and just to get more comfortable, I took off my boots, and I put them right over there on the edge of the bank. Anyway, I lay back, closed my eyes just for a second, and next thing you knew, I woke up, and one of my boots was missing. Just one of them. Oh, I know I came with two, but one of them must have just slipped right over the edge of the bank and fallen into the river. Well, I looked high and low, upstream and down, but nary a sign of that old boot. Oh, I didn't mind so much. They were old boots anyway. But the best part of the story is what happened to that old boot. I heard it from my friends, the birds, and I'll tell it to you just the way they told it to me. It started on a particularly fine day here on the riverbank. The river was feeling lazy this morning. A wonderful, sun-filled, insect-buzzing, fine-smelling fresh air morning. The kind that you only find when you really lay back and get right into it like, well, like the hamster did this morning. He'd learned a lot since he first came to the riverbank. Learned things his new friends had taught him, like how to run his friend Martha Mouse's boat, which he'd borrowed this morning for a little trip upstream. And he'd learned all about fishing. Ah, yes, fishing. Just get Hammy started on fishing, and, well, what you did was get a pole and a piece of string, fasten something nice on the end of it for bait, drop the line in the water, and then sit back and wait for the fish to come up and nibble on the bait. Hammy loved sitting quietly in the boat waiting for the fish to appear, practicing his patience. He was getting very good at being patient. And that was just as well this morning, for the fish must have been somewhere else. So there he was, kind of half dozing off like I sometimes do, when the strangest thing happened. There, there in the water. Oh my, what a noisy bunch of bubbles. Oh my, I wonder who's making them. Whoever it is, I, I hope he doesn't bump the boat. Hey, quiet down there. Ahoy, Hammy. How's the fishing? Oh, good morning, Turtle. The fishing's wonderful. Oh, they haven't bothered me at all this morning. I bet I know why that is. Oh, Turtle, you know so much about the river. Have you talked to the fish this morning? I always talk to the fish, Hammy, and we've been watching a most unusual craft come downstream. Oh, Turtle, Turtle, what's a craft? Like a boat, Hammy, only this one's not like any boat I've ever seen. I thought you'd seen everything, Turtle. Well, this is a great big thing like I've never seen before. Uh, how big, Turtle? What's it look like? Well, it, it's higher than Martha's house. It's got a thick floor and sort of ropes going up the front. I don't know who's inside. Hammy's nose twitched with excitement as he looked upstream. For a moment, he couldn't see anything. And then the fur stood up on the back of his neck as he saw. 
There, look, drifting down the river toward them was a large old boot. You see what I mean, hamster? Hammy, what do you think of that? Hammy. But the hamster was so entranced by the strange craft that he didn't even hear Turtle talking to him. As the boot swung past, he called out to whoever might be on board. Ahoy there! Ahoy! Hello there! Hammy Hello. shouted at the top of his lungs to attract the attention of the crew, but the old boot just kept drifting on downstream and disappeared round a bend in the river. The hamster couldn't contain himself. He ran to the back of the boat. Oh, oh, turtle, turtle, let's follow it. Come on, turtle, come on, come on, turtle. Hurry, turtle, hurry or we'll lose it. Aye, aye, sir, ready when you are. at the edge of the river. The hamster stared, awestruck, as the huge craft loomed over him. He just looked and looked and looked. Well, what do you see, Mr. Hamster? And his eyes grew wider and wider and wider. Then, as Turtle watched, something made him want to go inside. Almost before he knew what he was doing, he ran up the ladder of laces, climbed over the top of the tongue, and disappeared down into the darkness of the cavern below. Oh, is, is there anybody there? Called the hamster to the dark and empty toe, while the laces loosely hung above him, swinging to and fro. Is there anybody there? Cried the hamster, while the turtle watched in vain, until a small head popped up out of the boot, and the hamster appeared again. Why, Turtle, there, there's nobody there at all, and I have a wonderful idea. Oh, I must tell Martha. Wait here, Turtle. Wait here, and I'll be right back. And with that, he jumped down and ran off to find his new friend, Martha Mouse, to tell her of his discovery. Now, what in the world has gotten into that hamster? I think I'll go find a nice sunny log to sit on while he's away. While Hammy went off to find Martha, there were strange things happening in the woods nearby. <laughs> now we're getting somewhere. GP quite often started off his inventions by finding the right wheels. And this was the way GP tested his wheels. Most of them went right on by, so he just kept on testing, until... Yeah, I just love sitting on a log, it's so relaxing. Oh, what's that noise? Oh, oh! What in the world was that? And of course, the best wheels always came home. Ah, look at that wheel. Oh, what a wheel. Oh, that's the one. That's my wheel. Oh, see that wheel? Isn't that a beautiful wheel? Oh, oh, oh that's my wheel. Meanwhile, Hammy arrived at Martha Mouse's house. Oh, Martha, Martha, come quickly. Why, Hammy, what's gotten into you? You look like you've seen a ghost. Oh, Martha, it's better than that. Oh, I can't wait to show you what I found. Come on, Martha. Come on. Come on, Martha. Come and on. Martha ran out after the excited hamster. 
Now, I'll, I'll, I'll put this piece on here and... Uh, whoop, whoops, whoops. <laughs> there goes my door again. Got to fix that door. Uh, now, I'll, uh, I'll just add this to here. I'll tap it gently into place. There. There, it's... Uh, oh, look at it. It's almost finished. <laughs> look at it. Look at it. It's, it's, it's beautiful. Just get the screw in here and... Uh, but what is it? I'm so clever, I build all these wonderful inventions. But sometimes the hard part is figuring out what they're for. Let me think, let me think. I'll put my mighty brain to work. It, it shouldn't take too long. As soon as Hammy and Martha reached the boot, Hammy jumped inside. Oh, Martha, Martha, it's so wonderful. It's so... Oh, I don't know, Martha. Oh, Hammy, it is wonderful, but what is it? Well, don't you see, Martha? Uh, what a wonderful house this would make. Hammy... You mean... Oh, yes, yes, it could be my very own home. I really like staying with you, Martha, but I'd love my own house, and I'd be a very good neighbor, I promise. I know you would, Hammy, but first we have to hoist it up the bank so your floor won't get all wet. Let's see, where can we put it? When she reached the top of the hill, Martha turned and suggested... Oh... We ask wise old Frog how we can get it up here. They found Frog sitting in his log by the edge of the river. Rot. Why the rush? Always running back and forth. You'll wear yourselves out. You'll wear me out. What is it this time? Oh, oh, Mr. Frog, I found a house. Well, it, it, it's almost a house. It just needs a little work and uh, it, it, oh. Martha, what is this all about? What we really want to know, Mr. Frog, is how to move Hammy's new house up the hill away from the river so his floor won't stay all soggy. Well, why didn't you say so in the first place? What you need to move a house is called a winch, but nobody's got anything like that here on the riverbank. Why don't you go to see G.P. the guinea pig? He might know how to help. G.P.'s very clever, always inventing things. What a beautiful machine, but what do I call it? What do I call it? It's, it's, it's got a, look, it's got a bell, uh, so uh, maybe I'll call it my bell my bob No, no, there's a drum. My drum my bob Oh, it's such a marvelous thing, my thing my bob Look, it's got ropes on it. My, my rope and my bob. Give me a hand here. Give me a hand. Uh, I bet it would be great for winching big things along. That's it. My winch and my bob. Has a nice ring to it. Winch and my bob. Now I just need something to use it for. Oh, come in. Come in. The door's always open. Oh, I knocked the door down, didn't I? Well, come in anyway and see my beautiful new invention. Well, GP, we'd love to see your invention, but... But right now, Frog says I need a winch. Hammy needs to pull his house up to the top of the hill so it won't get wet again. Boy, have I got a winch for you. Oh, yes. Just look at this thing. It winches. It pulls. It, it does almost everything. It's my, my winch and my bob. Oh, I just knew GP could help us. Oh, will you help GP? Will you? Will you? Please, GP? Please help GP? Meanwhile, Turtle had arrived. Well, this wheel looks familiar. I wonder where... Oh, never mind. A GP, why not use these wheels to haul it over to where Hammy has his house, and then you could help him pull it up the bank. Of course, Turtle, of course. Any other brilliant ideas? How do we haul it? Well, why don't we fasten it behind your car and tow it through the woods? So GP backed his car up to the winching above. Thank you, Turtle. Thank you. You read my mind. How do I get all these wonderful ideas? Okay, winch my bob. You ready? Winch my bob. Let's go. Everybody in? Hang out of your hats, even if you haven't got a hat. Hang on. Come on, Turtle. I think I'll walk, GP, if you don't mind. I'm not used to high speeds. Okay, Turtle, suit yourself. Let's go. Why do I drive so fast? I scare myself. I can't look. I can't look. Oh, my. Why I can't look? Oh. Where's the road? Where's the road? There it is. I need that. I love the speed. I love the speed. Oh, I'm scaring myself. But this, this is ridiculous. I, I can't look. I can't look. Well, turn here, GP. Turn here. Please turn here. And Hammy was very relieved to arrive in one piece. What do you think, GP? Isn't it wonderful? Just look at it. Oh, can we do it, GP? Can we do it, please, GP? Of course, hamster. Nothing's too hard for my winch, my bob. Winch, my bob. What do you say? Winch, my bob. Winch, my bob. You ready? He's ready. Okay. Let's go. Let's get started. Here it goes.
grunts and groans and creaking ropes, the old boot moves slowly up the hill. Bob, don't quit now. We're almost there. Won't be long. Come on, Winch Bob. Well, I've never smelled anything like this before. Come on, Winch Bob. Come on, come on. Hang on. We're almost there. Let's go. Come on, come on, boy. Let's go. Goodness, I, I can't believe it. My, my very own house. I'm going to have my very own house. How's that, Hammy? How's that? You got a nice view and you're high and dry. Oh, oh, what a perfect place, GP. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. That's only the beginning, Hammy. Let's get cracking. We're going to turn this house into a home for Hammy. Come on, everybody. We are going to build a house with doors and a window above. Going to build a house for Hammy with love. Going to build a house with nails and with we <laughs> going to build a house for Hammy because, because he was not going to have a house at all. No place to sleep. No place where we, we could, could call to visit him. Say hello to a friend. We're gonna build a house for Hammy, and if we do it right, he'll be warm and safe, cuddly and safe, in his little bed tonight. When the hammering had stopped and the tools had been put away, Martha complimented GP on the fine job they'd all done. Well, think nothing of it. All in a day's work. Anything for a friend. I'm such a wonderful person. I know. I know I am. Oh. Hammy, what do you think of it all? Uh, it's all too good to be true. I can't believe it. Look, Martha, look. It's, it's, got, it's got a door and, and, and a window and a, even a chimney. Oh, Martha, it's terrific. Just look at it. Isn't that a wonderful house? Oh, Martha, Martha, it's absolutely terrific. And Hammy could wait no longer to inspect his new home. He poked about in every nook and cranny and was just getting nicely settled in. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. Oh, look, a bedroom and, and a bed. Oh, my very own bed. Oh, I can't believe it. When Martha appeared at the door and asked him to go and hide in the corner, Hammy couldn't believe his ears. What had he done? Had he, had he misbehaved? Go on, Hammy. Hide in the corner. Oh, what about, what about here under the stairs, Martha? No, Hammy. Hide in the corner. The corner? H how's this corner, Martha? And why, why am I hiding? Oh, oh, oh. Shh. All right. Come on in, but be very quiet. While Hammy hid, all his friends came in and put their presents in the middle of the floor. Surprise, Hammy! Surprise! Surprise! Oh, oh, Martha, Martha, what's this all about? Why, it's a housewarming party, Hammy, a housewarming. The hamster joined the group and inspected all his gifts. Oh, oh, Martha, what's this and that? Oh, 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 my friends, how can I ever thank you enough? Open them all up, Hammy, they're all for you. I hope you like your presents, Hammy. Come on, Hammy, get busy, get busy. Open those things up. Come on, Hammy. Oh, 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 oh thank you, Frog. Oh, what is it? Oh, oh, my, a, a teapot. It's so shiny. I've never had my own teapot, Mr. Frog. Oh, hamster, now you have me over for tea. I like tea, too, Hammy. 
We want some help, Hammy? I'm good at opening presents too, Hammy. Can I help you? Can I help you? What'll I, what'll I open next? Try the big box next to you, Hammy. Oh, this one, Martha? This one, this great big box? You can do it, Hammy. You can do it. When Hammy slid the lid off the big box, guess what was inside? A wonderful cuckoo clock. Hammy had never seen a cuckoo clock before. Oh, Martha, oh, thank you so much. What, what does it do? Let's unpack it and find out, Hammy. They all watched as Martha found a spot on the wall. Ruth, couldn't have picked a better spot myself. Ruth. And hung the little clock by Hammy's stairwell. There's a little bird inside, Hammy, to keep you company so you don't get lonely. Here, I'll show you how to wind it. Oh. Oh, the my hamster Lord. had not spent such a wonderful day in his whole life. He thanked each of his friends in turn, and then went back to his presence. Oh, oh excuse me, excuse me. Much, much later, when the other animals had left, Hammy lit the candles to brighten the corners of his little home. Oh, oh, I've had, I've had such a wonderful day. And, and I found another new friend. Oh, <laughs> good night, little bird. Good night. <laughs> oh, my. Then, realizing it was well past the bedtime of all young hamsters, he trundled off to bed. Sleep well in your new home, little hamster, murmured the wind. As one by one, he blew the candles out, leaving the house in darkness and the hamster to dream of all the wonderful days yet to come. Days like the time when he thought the river was on fire and he and Martha had gone out in the little boat too. <laughs> but that's another story. We are going to build a house with doors and a window above. Gonna build a house for Hammy with love. Going to build a house with nails and with hammers and saws. Gonna build a house for Hammy because... Because he was not gonna have a house at all. Place where we could call to visit him. Say hello to a friend. Gonna build a house for Hammy, and if we do it right, he'll be warm and safe, cuddly and safe in his little bed tonight.